I am in the south of France, headed to a town called saint jean van It's where my sister lives. My sister lives in an apartment on the school campus where she works, and it kind of reminds me of my college dorm. It has a lot of mismatched and old furniture, and the lights are extremely dim, so it feels like you can't really see in the apartment at night. And the shower head, she says that they recently changed, but it feels like when you shower, the water is attacking you because it sprays out very strongly in this round circle. So in the center, there is no water. The bed is also very uncomfortable. My sister warned me, but I'm a good sleeper. I tend to be able to sleep anywhere and I don't mind if the surface is hard, but I cannot tell you how many times I woke up that first night because it was very uncomfortable. But for all the apartment's little quirks, I'm happy to be here. It's nice and warm inside, which I really appreciate, and has everything that's necessary to be comfortable. I have to report that today will be my first full day in the gloomy, dark, and rainy state of France. Can you just take this off and put it back on? What? I don't know about me or Erica. <laughs> To town to buy some fruits and vegetables. We went to a market in the center of the town. We went to go buy some fruits and vegetables, cheese, and a couple of pastries. Who's working to find a piece of you? <laughs> Everything when it comes to you is like screaming at me. So if I start screaming at you, it just doesn't work. You don't scream at me. You always scream at me when we're at the very end of our state of the day. No, I already started screaming at you. I've been what screaming you? at you since I arrived. Respectfully, what is this? Respectfully. Sandra, don't you see that I'm dirt I'm doing dirty things? I know, but respectfully, I wish you would respect me. Sandra, you keep saying you keep saying <laughs> That you want your house a specific way. I don't know if I can keep that. What's glorious? Hello, come here. He's like compact. He's perfect. Totally can put him in my suitcase and we'll make it home. You're precious. But I don't think he would be happy being locked up inside. Oh, no, no, no. 
This past Saturday was my sister's birthday, so the night before on Friday, we went to go to a Vietnamese restaurant, and then we just headed home. The next day on Saturday, we stayed in town and did a couple of things. We went to the post office because I needed to mail a letter to one of my friends, and then I needed to buy new shoelaces because one of my shoelaces broke, and then we went to check out the library because it's in an old abbey. Almost yeah. isn't good enough, as Azula would say. Now you, now you messed it up. It's way worse. Well, we can't all be like Azula, <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> So there was supposed to be an enormous church here, but they did not finish it. But it looks like there's still a church, they just didn't finish. On the first day it was sunny, I was so excited that I walked around the town for three hours or so before I found a little river and sat down by the river and started to read. It was a very nice day and I was very happy. I've been here for about 10 days now and every single day it has been rainy and gloomy except for two days. So on those two days I went to explore the city and walk by the river and see different things that are in this town because the other days I hadn't been able to. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs>
Good morning. I think today we are going to head to the lake because I haven't been there yet. And it is going to be a nice sunny day.